Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Calico, which is a tar lane game about trying to make the fanciest quilt to attract the cuddliest cat. Whoever attracts the most cats and makes the best quilt wins. So this is on Kickstarter right now. You can check out the campaign page in the link in the description and you can see all the final stuff there. This is a prototype. Bear in mind that I might have made mistakes, turn on Klingon subtitles to be informed of those, and there is a handheld and a static camera, links for both of those in the description as well. So I'm playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty, he's hiding under a quilt somewhere. There he is. This is the standard setup of the game by the way. You can change the cats that are available for scoring, and you can change the goals you start with and you know, the particular arrangement of them. This is all standard though. We shuffled up all of the tiles and started with two each at random. There's three in the market there. So let's look at our player boards. We each have the same goals in the same arrangement and our quilts want particular things. This section of the quilt would like all different things surrounding it. Each tile has a color and a pattern on it. So this tile would ideally like six different colors around it. If we can do that, six different colors or patterns, we can get 10 points. If we can get six completely unique patterns and colors, you'll score the yellow value and score 15 points for that goal instead. So it's up to you how you wanna go about it. Do you just wanna do six different colors, six different patterns? Can you try and do both? That's quite hard. It's incredibly hard to try and do both for all of those uh, goals. You'd have to be extremely lucky for that. But you're also looking for sets of colors. Once you have got three or more of a type of color, not a type of color, a color touching each other, then you can take a tile of that color. That's going to be worth three points each at the end of the game. And our scoring cats here, they have particular values on them according to the number of tiles of a certain pattern they would like touching. So Thimble over here will award three points every time you get a group of three or more of these patterns, the dots and the flowers. These have been randomized, the, the black and white tiles defining the patterns, randomized amongst the cats. Mittens over here wants four or more of the same pattern and Queenie wants five or more, but Queenie will give you seven points every time that you do that. We keep going until everyone has filled their quilts and whoever has the most points wins. So the structure of your turn is very simple indeed. You have two tiles to choose from. Place one on your quilt somewhere, draw a new one from the market, back and forth, and that's it. So what would I like to do? Well, I can see what's available out here. So the other two goals that I've got are AAA BBB. So that means I want two different colors and only two, or patterns, or both on this one, and this is double A, double B, double C. So I want three pairs of things around that goal. So if I'm thinking about maybe pairs or triples, you know, I have this light blue dots over here, and in the market we have the dark blue dots. If I'm trying to do maybe three of a kind, or just pairs, that would sort me out for a pair of patterns, wouldn't it? I think I am gonna place this one down first then, and where would I like it in my quilt? I think... I think I'm gonna go for three of a kind each first. Now, would I like to go up here and start doing my six different things? I don't think I wanna do that just yet. I'm actually going to go around here because all of these patchwork parts of the quilt that are printed around the border of our player boards, they count for the pattern scoring, for the color scoring, you know, they can all be used for your advantage. So I've got two light blue tiles touching each other straight away in this game. So I'm happy with that. I am going to grab the dark blue dots for my replacement, and then we need to replace that in the market, and we get some more dark blue dots. There are 36 tiles of each color, and there are six patterns, so you know, you've got six chances in the piles to get a particular tile that you want. In a two-player game though, there is a variant where you can remove one of the colors from the game because of course it's going to be less likely with fewer players that more tiles will come out. That's just a little thing there, we're not playing with that variant. Marty is in a very very similar position. He has got his two tiles and he can be thinking about the same thing, you know, dark blue dots have just come out, he could go the same way, but he has got you know, the, the flowers here, the ferns, he's got a green and a light blue, so he could be thinking about that and maybe start doing his pairs. He could even place this over here 
and start his six different tile goal as well. He could put it over to the side to start working on a color, but no, he's going he's gonna to grab this as his replacement, and he's going to start working on both of these goals at once. Refill the market, and we've got some red ferns there, and it's back over to me. So I was working on my pears, wasn't I? Oh, my, my, my three of a kinds. So I could do that, actually, and keep on going and place down here, because then I'm working on another three of a kind color. If I put them together, though, I would be working on dots, and you only need three dot tiles to start getting points from Thimble there, three points a time. I'm going to do it like that, though. I'm going to go for those colors, I think, because there is another bonus. If you have gotten a bonus for each color, you get a rainbow tile. That is even more points at the end of the game. So that can be something to shoot for if I want to really go for colors. Back to Marty. He's doing his pairs, isn't he? So what if he placed this up here and he could think about doing light blues? Because he... Or he could put it down here, and then he started to work on the fern group, because he doesn't want to put it there, because then that would go on the six different things, and it would negate him having six different patterns straight away. It's, it's unlikely he's going to achieve the six different for both, but you, do, you want to leave the option open. For ferns, though, you need five fern tiles to get a group, but you do get seven points for doing it. So that's what Marty's going to do. What would he like to replace it with? Well, if he wants to go for ferns, there's one right there. He could have just gone for... Oh, it's unfortunate that that one's pears. But yeah, he could just keep going with his ferns in these two spaces if he gets some. He needs five, though. One would have to end up there. Yeah, that's what he's taking as a replacement, though. So he's definitely putting a red tile down next turn. We need a new tile coming out, and it is the red spades. I know they're not quite spades. <laughs> to come up with names for these things. So I didn't take a replacement tile. I would have been happy, actually, with some dark blue dots because that fits in with my keep getting dots and keep getting dark blue together. So, yeah, Marty would have had a bit of a different choice. Let's wipe the slate clean with that, though, and go back to me. So, with dots, you only need three of a kind. So, this works out quite beautifully for me, I think. I'm going to place it down here. And so now I've fulfilled my three different well, three of the same pattern. So I could get three of the same different pattern, and then that goal will score at the end of the game eight points. If I can also make sure that that different pattern is two light blue and one dark blue, see how it's getting unlikely when you add these conditions, then I could score the 13 points instead. But eight is good to be thinking about. So now let's look at cat tokens. I have successfully made a group of these three dotty patterns, and that attracts Thimble over to my quilt. So we can grab a Thimble over here and place it on this section to show that Thimble is enjoying herself over there and that that group is scored. So if I add to it, I don't get more Thimbles coming around. Thimble will only be interested in a new group of dots. And that's true for colors as well, because you know, thematically, this is sewing a button onto your quilt. So I've made a group of three dark blue tiles, so I can sew this button on. And so Thimble is worth three points, the button is worth three points, and I'm working towards this goal. So I'm quite happy with what's going on on my quilt. Over to Marty, and he was thinking about ferns. I don't think he wants the ferns next to this tile because he's already used a lot of them, and he would want three more. So I think he is going to just grab this and work on his group. He's going to place this down here, because, well, actually, it's down here. One will go there, though, hopefully, because this one on the border here counts, and he's now got four ferns towards the five that he needs. What would he like to go on here now, though? He wants pairs of colors and patterns, Oh, this could be good. What if he grabs the green stripes? Not a very successful band. And you, he would place this down in the future, and it would be a new pattern to get a pair of. He would want another stripe in future. That's his pair of greens sorted, though. And he could get a stripey group going over here. If he gets a stripe there and two more stripes there, because unfortunately stripes is another five. He needs five of them to achieve that. But that could be something to think about. He doesn't want to place that just yet, though, does he? He's just getting the tile. And I haven't had a replacement again. I'm going to forget all game now, aren't I? For <laughs> my particular thing. I would just grab some flowers, I think. 
because I can start to maybe work on my pears now that I've got two flowers. Now I need four tiles to make a group of flowers. So I might want to work up in the future. But what I'm thinking about is... I would like to place around here and start working on four and use the border piece to do that. I'm going to place here though, so I'm working on this goal. And that, one more, makes a nice group of purple. So that's another colour that I could have the button for. What would I like to replace that? Well, I need... I actually need another pattern here, don't I? Ooh, what if we change our mind completely? Oh, but I want them to keep being dark blue, don't I? And... Ugh. Yeah. So really, if I was going for flowers, I would want one dark blue, which I've got, and two light blues, which haven't come out yet. So think about that in the future. I don't want... I, I do kind of want more flowers, though, don't I? Because I want four flowers. And so that would be one, two, three, four on the border. Then I would get another cat coming over. That would get mittens attracted to my quilt. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Back to Marty, though. And what does he want? Well, he's thinking about his stripes, isn't he? We need a new tile in the market to show what's going to be available. So Marty wants, he does want another fern actually, and one's come out. So that could be something to grab. He's going to put his stripes down here, like he had planned. So ideally he'd want another green stripes here, so he could make a group of three greens, because he doesn't want another green around this goal. Because he's got the two for the pair. But you can just give, give up on getting the colour and the pattern. You can't lock yourself in too rigidly in this, because you're not sure what's going to come out. So he's going to grab the ferns, I think, for his new tile. I'm just going to keep knocking these because I'm reaching quite a bit. Oh, wow. Not much choice in colour there. But Marty's okay with the stripes, isn't he? He can keep going for his cat attraction. It's back to me, and I think I would actually be okay with putting both of these up here to make a nice group of four flowers, and I would have another group of three dark blues for three more points. Now, unfortunately, that isn't a different colour, but I think that's something to go for. You've got to fill all of these spaces in the end, and I think that is filling this top corner quite effectively. So I'm going to place that there. What would I like as a replacement, though? I... I could just go for completely different things to go for, you know, the goal in the middle. I do need different pairs to go around here. Unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't match the, the patterns that I've got. I can see Marty's going for stripes, though. Maybe I will just be a little bit spiteful for now and deny him a stripey piece. We have some purple dots coming out. I could just give up on the color there and just go for... I've got the three dots, though, haven't I? Dots is what I don't need. Over to Marty, though. Back to Marty, who's got his ferns. And I think he's going to place them... Oh, no. He wants to place them down here. And then he could work on maybe getting, what am I thinking about? He'd get more yellow here for a color bonus and he would achieve his five ferns, but he wants stripes down here, doesn't he? But putting them over here means that, well, maybe he's not gonna get both color and pattern here. Maybe he just gives up on that idea. Maybe though, he gets really lucky and ferns keep coming out. But yeah, he's gonna do that because now Queenie, the prestigious seven point Queenie, has seen all of these ferns and she is coming over to join the fun. What does Marty want in replacement for that though? Let's see, he could work on maybe getting some more red. This is very different things now, isn't it? He could get, he could maybe get this flowery one as his third set and then that would define his third color though. He has already got or we could just go for dots just up in a corner somewhere and maybe get one around there. That's what he's going for. New tile is going to be the purple spades. For me, I'm carrying on with the flowers, I think. I'm going to place them up there. And so mittens is going to be coming over. And that's going to be five points for me there. And we need another dark blue button to be sewn on here. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. I'm not as far along in my goals at all, though. It's going to get to a point where you know, I might have left it too late and I've used up all of my kind of throwaway spaces around the outside and I might have to ruin my goals. But that's the risk I've taken. So I've got these red stripes here. 
So I'm I'm pretty open, aren't I, to, to this one, maybe. We could do pairs of things. What if what if we went for purple to get a set of three purples there? Yes. Get purple spades, and then hopefully I could get the red spades in future. And this all works out. <laughs> Marty. Now he's got all of the dots. He could go for all pairs here, but he doesn't want he wants them of the same colour if he's trying to go for all of the same. He could work on different though. What if he starts to do his different goal there? So he gets some red dots in there to join the green ferns. Doesn't get him anything right now, but in future, what if he got some spades and he could start working on maybe a red area up here and it would connect to a spade one? Ideally, another red dot would get him the dots bonus, which only needs three pieces, and the red bonus. <sighs> Let's see what comes out. No, it was unlikely. There's a lot of tiles. Over to me, and I'm actually going to place this purple piece here. Start to work on these goals a little bit. But I have made my lovely purple area there. So that is another colour. That's only my second uh, colour set done. Still got a long way to go if I want to get all of the colours. What replacement piece would I like? I could go for some more flowers. Now, light blue flowers come out. I would need another light blue flower and a dark blue flower and I have used two of the six dark blue flowers that are in the entire game already up in that corner so yeah we either wait for a different pattern to come out or we just accept that we need to just get three of the same pattern around here and give up on the the color bonus if we're just looking for things that are completely different though this light blue one would work for this goal so let's get a new one out here that's going to be some green dots Back to Marty. What was his plan? He does want more stripes, doesn't he? I think, was he going for reds or was he going for dots up in this corner? And around the outside, he could have been going for spades. Yeah, he's going to go for the red set there. That's three reds. So he can take a button. And then he's got two out of the four spades that he's going to need. Now, unfortunately, there isn't anything completely different for this here. He wants more ferns around this piece so he can do his uh, three of a kinds. Oh, what's going to help him here? He could just give up and maybe go for colour along the top, just, just colour in the top goal, and then get a set of three dots going by getting these green dots. Yeah, maybe that's what he needs to do. Get another new piece, and it's some blue stripes. They would have been good. That's completely different from Marty's goal. I think I am going to place some red stripes down. Now, I do want them to be there. But I also don't. Yeah, because I'm worried about defining this too much before I have any pieces that really go with it. So two of the three shapes have been defined if I'm going for shape. Colour hasn't though, I could just go for colour, yeah. I'm putting this here and taking the blue stripes because if I can get another light blue stripes and a dark blue stripes, I would get some perfect scoring around here going. But as it is, I could just have these two light blues here and another dark blue, and I would get eight out of the 13 possible points, which isn't too bad. We need a new tile. It is some more red stripes. Marty is just going for different colours in this top goal, so he's going to place some more dots here and go for the green next time and get a cat attraction going on. What piece would he like? Now he does need a different colour and some more stripes here, so the red stripes could help him out a bit. And new piece comes out, some more red flowers. I'm going to actually place my blue flowers out here. and I'm going to... I haven't completely given up on that, but I'm kind of thinking it's not going to happen. I'll get myself a light blue button. So I still need a lot, don't I? I need red, green, and yellow as threes. And it's getting less and less likely, isn't it, as this fills up? <laughs> All to get my rainbow. Rainbow's only three more points, but hey, it's three more points. What piece would I like? Which piece would I like? I could just go for more flowery pieces and just go for patterns here rather than colours. I do need another flowery piece here and another red, so that wouldn't be too bad. 
Yeah, let's grab that and that can go over here. New piece coming out, grabbing from a different stack. That's dodgy. That is purple stripes. Back to Marty. He was going for stripes around here, wasn't he? So yeah, he will get some stripes going there, the potential for a red group, and he will grab some more stripes. And then new tile to come out is blue swirlies. Okay, with me, I think I was going for flowers over here. So this does define though, I need to, to score this goal perfectly, I need a new color and I need stripes and spades in that color. At the moment, no stripes and spades in the market. I do have stripes in light blue though. If I could get light blue spades, that would be brilliant. That would score that goal fully. It's only 11 points for that goal though. It's easier to do. Okay, what do I want then? I would say dark blue swirlies is something brand new for the completely unique goal. Then we have some yellow stripes. Marty is still working on those stripes, although the colors don't quite match. He has managed to get one, two, three, four. Oh. So he still needs another one up here. I think then he will go for orange stripes just so he can definitely do that. Yellow stripes. Same thing, right? I was going for some dark blue swirlies. I think I'm going to put them in this piece over here, this space, because I only need one more swirly over here. And then I have attracted another thimble. So that could be good. And there is a swirly waiting for me right here. Now I do need green around here, but I need a different pattern for it to be completely different. You have to be very lucky, I think, to get to, to score both elements of that goal. We have some light blue spades. Marty persevering is going to place his stripes there and he has another queenie. So that is another seven points coming his way. There we go. Queenie just resting there. As for a new piece, this light blue spades would work very well here. I think it would complete another color pairing. If he could get a yellow spades to go there, he would complete both elements of this. Yeah, that's what he's going for. New tile is some green floweries. I was just going for some swirlies, wasn't I? There we go. So I've got, yep, three is what I need for another thimble over there. And what would I like to replace it? Now I do need green around here, but I want a different pattern. What do I need? I've got the swirly, I've got, I, I need dots and palms, yellow or green. So those combination of tiles I need over there to perfectly score that goal. Will it happen? What would I like in the meantime then? I could just, I could just grab a green. Yeah, I could just grab this green here and maybe work on a set of three greens over there. Green is a color I need as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Marty's going to keep going for his dots up here, is he? I was thinking maybe he could get a set of greens there, but he could place this. Oh, if he places it there, it ruins uh, this goal in terms of color. So yeah, he's going to place his green dots up there. He can get another green, which there is one out. Then he will score another color button. But for now, he's scored three dots and Thimble is coming over. Oh, that's, I really need those light blue stripes, don't, those light blue spades for here. I have to hope some more come out. I'm going to put my light blue stripes there because I could maybe get a group of stripes going along the bottom here, but certainly possible to get three light blues, isn't it? So there, if I get a light blue spades one, which Marty has one of them, then I would perfectly score that. But either way, I only need one more light blue and then I've got seven points. Just if I get really lucky, I can get the 11. A tile to replace, I could just get dark blue stripes here because this goal is just worrying about colors, isn't it? So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. New one comes out and it's yellow dots. Now it's a color Marty hasn't got around here. Yeah, he's gonna put it there because if he can get some light blue dots, then that scores his one perfectly. Yeah, that's what he's going for. Now I could just ignore the patterns here. Oh, sorry, ignore the colors and just go for patterns. So I would need another flowers before the end of the game, but I can potentially get a nice three green here and green is a color that I need the button of. 
So it's tempting to get one of the flowers. There are two available though. I'm gonna go for these green dots. New tile comes out and it's some blue palms, which I think Marty wants. He's gonna go for his green up here. So he's got a set of greens for a button. And then he is gonna grab those palms because then he can work on a set of three palms here maybe. Or he could just go for the color. Oh, he could go for the, he could just go for the yellow flowers, place them there. And that's a second yellow around here and it makes a group of yellows. Yeah. Okay, new tile out there, some purple flowers. Back to me, I'm just going for my group of green, I think. So I need a green leafy button. I don't think though, I need, what do I need? Red, red's possible. Still, I could do it here or here. Yellow, I don't think is possible though, unless I did all three yellow here. Yeah, probably gonna have to say goodbye to that rainbow thing. What new piece would I like? Which new piece would I like? I think I'm gonna go for reds and I can always use it down here for the flower to complete that goal if I want to. But I could use it for reds here or here if I wanna score another button. We get some green swirlies and Marty. Not too fussed with those swirlies. I think, what does he need here? He needs light blue dots, doesn't he? He could just throw a light blue in at any time though and just score the color portion of it. He could though, he needs a light blue here for all different colors and a dark blue. What if he goes for light blue here? Because that is another one towards his four spades that he needs and he can grab a dark blue, and it's also a fern to go here to help with both of those goals. That seems good. Get some yellow stripes. I think I'm just gonna place these flowers over here because if I can get another red, great, that's another button. If I can get another flower there, it would stop me being able to fully complete this. I would just have to go for colors because there's already a flower here. Then that would be four flowers. Five in fact, but yeah, four is what you need for mittens to come over. And which new tile would I like then? So you need five stripes and I really don't want a stripe to be there. So I probably wouldn't take the yellow just because it has stripes. You only need three swirlies. I could just grab a green swirly to put over here and then hope to get another swirly before the end. But yeah, it's, it's looking very tight, isn't it? I'm probably gonna have to ruin that somehow. Yeah, not pieces that I'm very fond of really. I need, if we're just looking at color, I need a light blue there, a light blue there. You can see where I may have gone wrong here. If we're just going for pattern, I need a spade here. I've already made sure that it can't be color here. Actually, it can't be color, can it? It needs to be pattern and it needs to be flowers, which there are. Brilliant. Yeah, okay. Glad I noticed that. We have some green stripes there. Marty's placing his ferns here. He's completed his everything different goal in terms of colors over here. And what would he like? So you need five ferns, don't you? One, two, three, four, four. Oh, if he could get another fern there, and he does want another fern, there isn't one out there. So why am I thinking about that? He wants another, he wants a light blue here, doesn't he? Light blue dot perfectly. So he either needs dots or a light blue to be able to score that in some kind of helpful way. Dots would be perfect because then it would be three dots as well. Oh no, dots have already been done here. Never mind. So anyway, he doesn't want to put anything there. He wants to put spades there if he can. He needs another shape to go with the ferns here. We need three, two, three of a kind. So maybe he goes for stripes. And yellow is already a color that's there. So yeah, helps him a lot, I think. So we have some dark blue ferns there. Definitely help Marty. Bit late though. I just need my flowers here to complete this goal so I can stop thinking about that. And then what am I gonna replace it with? Let's see, stripes we need five of, don't we? What if I just get another stripes? We put one there, we put one there and just say goodbye to that goal. And then that is seven points for the stripes, which would uh, make up for the amount I'm losing in the goal. Or do we keep the faith? There are only five more turns though. <laughs> To place a tile, it's a lot of faith to have. And we have to be thinking about this. So far, it's completely different in terms of color and shape. Oh, 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 this green swirl. Oh no, there was already swirlies there. Yeah. Maybe we just go for it though. 
let's let's take the green straw out then because I can always, if I don't want to put it down here, I can always put it up here and it's a new color. And then we just need a, a, a yellow. And then that's all the colors and I've completed it partially, which would be okay. New tile comes out and it's red dots. Marty does need a light blue or a dot here, preferably both the same, but yeah, that's unlikely. So he could go for, what if he put the stripes down here and then grabs these ferns, because then that's going to be a group of five ferns, isn't it? Oh no, the five ferns have already been done. Hmm. He does want that fern piece though. He's not going to be able to make a different group of five ferns though. They're just going to keep joining together. I think, yeah, he, he will just go for that. You know, it's not going to be big bonuses. That is a group of three yellows, though. That's why he was doing it. I knew that. And it's back over to me. So I need I need a lot of things happening, don't I? I want stripes down here. I think then let's put this, let's put this dark blue stripe down here. I would hopefully get an, a light blue something to put there and get a light blue button. I have already got one, though. One more stripe. It would actually only be four. I need another stripe to be there. And it has to be light blue to keep the goal going. Oh, no. Yeah, this is this is getting really tough. So I need a yellow to go up here if I'm having the colors all different. And there's no yellows available in the market. Do I then think about pattern instead then? And dots we need there. What is the other pattern we need up here? We've got flowers. It's ferns. None of those available just yet, but we can hope. And putting a red there would make a group of reds. Mm. Marty's continuing with his ferns, and so now he needs a dark blue and a yellow stripe to fully score this. It's not, not looking likely though, is it? But he can just get any stripes or any... He's got his third yellow, he just needs another dark blue. Oh, there should be another in the market here. There's more ferns. He doesn't need more ferns though. He needs dots up there. Preferably a light blue there or a spades there, but he's not been lucky with those coming out. Yeah, it's getting to the point, I think, where he's going to have to spoil things. Yeah, this is not looking good. He's just going to take that swirly and knock the pile over. Oh, dark blue swirly. Maybe he could get something with swirly because he only needs three. Oh, it means not scoring goals, though. Should have pushed for his goals harder. Okay, what was my plan? My plan was this, wasn't it? Just go for different shapes rather than colours around here. And then I get myself my red button. And so the shape I need, we worked this out already. What was it? It was ferns. There are green ferns. Brilliant. Marty can still go for this goal. Brilliant. He can put his yellow there and grab a dark blue. And then he's done colours at least. Oh, we need options out here. We need to keep refilling this market. There we go. So lots of swirlies. I need a light blue or a spades for there. We want ferns here, don't we? So we can just uh, leave that as it is. Oh, I wanted both of these to be stripes so I could score stripes. That's not going to happen. I was hoping for light blue so I could get that button. That's not going to happen. I don't think I can get anything that's worthwhile out of these. No. Let's just grab that piece and hope something good comes out. I want a light blue available when my turn comes around. So it depends what comes out after Marty's turn, really, what I am going to be able to do. Marty. Let's see. He wants spades up there. He only needs one more. He wants, he wants a dark blue here, doesn't he? So let's do that before I completely forget about it and ruin it for him. And then what does he want then? So he wants a light blue there or dots, not available. Or he wants spades up there, not available. Can he get a group of flowers? You need four and there's only th two here. He's already done the stripes group. He's already done the dots group. Yeah, nothing doing up there. Swirlies, he needs three, but there's only one more space. Stripes, ferns, no. I don't think he can get a piece that helps him any either. So if this is a light blue, I will be able to do what I want. No, it's yellow. So with that in mind, then I'm going to place one of these pieces and then either the other one next turn or one of these three pieces. That's all I have to think about. And I don't think I've left myself 
with much choice. I don't think I'm going to be able to score anything with what I've got left. So, yeah, I can't get colors. Already done these. I can't get, oh, I can get the stripes though, can't I? One, two, three, four. Wow, that would be four still. And if I put it here, it will be one, two, three, four. And the other one's going to mess it up because I am not able to take a stripe piece. We're just going to have to place them. Let's put the green next to the green. Why not? Some miracle might happen, but well, we can see the pieces that are available here and know that, no, it's not. I need four flowers, so it's not like I can take flowers and help myself out. We haven't got any swirlies around here. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just take something. I'm going to light blue. Let's take a purple, eh? Marty. He wants a spade here. If a spade comes out, he could maybe do that. No, it's, it's light blues though, so he can, he can do something with that. He can put it here, actually. That's way better, isn't it? Because he, he can score the goal, which would be seven points, rather than just get a button, which would be three points. No spades, though, unfortunately. I think he's going to keep going with his fern obsession and put that there. He's going to take the light blue for next turn. But uh, yeah, the market doesn't matter because we haven't got much choice. I can't score anything with my tiles, so I'm just going to pop this down. Marty can score one of his goals by placing this down. And there we go. That is Calico. Let's grab the score sheet. Okay, so first up, we need to score our goals. So for me, I got all different colors around this one. So that's going to be 10 points. I did not score this one, did I? No. Get nothing for that one. And this one, I did patterns, didn't I? Three flowers and three dots. So I get eight for that. So it's 18 together for me for goals. Marty, on the other hand, he got his different colors around here. So that's 10. He got his colors around here. So that's seven. And he got his colors here. So that's eight. So that is 25. Next up, cat tokens. I have, is this all I did? I got two thimbles. And a mittens, so that is going to be 3, 6, 11. Marty only attracted three kittens as well, but his is three for Thimble. He got two queenies though, so that's going to be 14, 17 points. And then buttons, I have, it's three points for each button, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And Marty just managed three, six, nine. Unless I missed one somewhere. Well, you can tell me in the comments if I did. And so, all together, I managed 47 with my grand schemes, but probably from just managing to complete all three of his goals, Marty ended up with 51. And there are our lovely calico quilts for the end of this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed that. If this has intrigued you about calico, the link to the Kickstarter page is in the description and you can see all of the final stuff there. Remember, this was a prototype. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, you can click the link that's in the description or coming up on the screen very shortly to go over to there, or it will show you a playthrough you might potentially enjoy, or you could browse around the channel. There are hundreds available. I am only able to make these videos thanks to the generous support of my patrons. If you would like to help me keep making videos, it's patreon.com slash slickerdrips. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.